are one of the biggest cat species. They are found mostly in the southern and eastern parts of Africa, and their roar can be heard from eight kilometres away. And some of them are actually white. Hello, I'm Stephanie from Darling Down Zoo, and this is our little white lion cub, our newest member of the family, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa's parents, Shaka and Shenzi, were brought over three years ago from a place called the Lion Park in South Africa. Now, Kwanzaa is the first white lion cub to be born in Queensland. So why is Kwanzaa white? White lions are no different to other lions. Their light colour is because they have a recessive gene called the chinchilla gene, which is a colour inhibitor. Both parents must carry this gene for the cub to be white. Sorry to interrupt, but you might be wondering what a gene is. Well, a gene is a chunk of DNA that contains information. You see, DNA is full of genes, and these genes are what make you, you. A gene is like a recipe, and they can be for all sorts of things. How to make and operate all of your different cells, but they also determine things. Things like your ear shape, or your height, or your hair colour. Let's get back to it. Because white lions require both parents to carry the gene, white lions are extremely rare. White lions in the wild, the last known adult was in the mid-1990s. Which is why it is important that zoos like us help to preserve white lions with cubs like Kwanzaa. So let's get to know him a little better. When Kwanzaa was born, he weighed a tiny 1.6 kilos, and now at 15 weeks old, he is much bigger, weighing in at around 15 kilos. Kwanzaa will keep growing until he reaches the age of about four to five, when he could weigh around 200 kilos like his dad. Kwanzaa was initially raised by his mother, but unfortunately, her milk dried up, so we had to step in and hand rear him. This means we bottle feed him approximately one and a half litres now of our lion milk formula each day. Recently, we've been introducing meat into his diet, which has been a bit difficult, as he likes being a baby. He should be weaned off milk and become a full-time carnivore at around six months old. Our job is to make sure he gains enough weight, gets his regular health checks and enough exercise. The vet comes by to give Kwanzaa his vaccination and does a general health check. Lions are very social animals and in the wild they live with their extended family called a pride. We spend lots of time with Kwanzaa and are his surrogate family, or pride, until he is old enough to take care of himself and then live with the other lions. Kwanzaa even likes to socialise with our dog, Honey. As Kwanzaa is the only cub, it's good for him to have interaction with other animals and Honey knows how to keep him on his toes. Like most babies, Kwanzaa basically eats, sleeps, and of course plays. Ah. 